Big score for Deion Sanders. Got another recruit, the best cornerback in the country, to flip from Miami to Colorado. Now, I don't know how much NIL money they have there. I'm not sure what he's using other than his charisma. And, and maybe that's what he's doing. But, I mean, that's a big deal. And, you know, Dion flipping a couple of these recruits. And I don't know, you know, his affiliation with Barstool. Does, you know, Barstool fund this? He's, I think, said all along that that's not the case, even when he was at Jackson State. But if you're Florida State, are you having second thoughts here that you should have hired Deion Sanders? Now, I know at the time he had no coaching experience. And I don't know how much of a coach he is. I think he's basically the figurehead there. He's running everything. It's like Bobby Bowden at Florida State later in his career that Dion's brought in some great assistant coaches, X's and O's guys. I mean, he's, he's, he's the program. It's him. And he flipped this uh, cornerback who was a five-star recruit and uh, I guess labeled the number one cornerback in the country, and now he's going to Colorado. I don't know how much you, how many you need to turn this around, but you get the feeling that those schools in the Pac-12 are at least aware of what's going on with Dion. And if he's doing it with just sheer charisma, I don't know if they they have their committee, their boosters that are going to pony up money there. They've been doing that, but. You know, Colorado football has been irrelevant for a long, long, long time. And they might not be good this year, but they'll be relevant because of him. Now you're going to tune into a game. You're going to How many times do you tune in to watch a coach? But you will with him. You will tune in to watch him. Yeah, see. It's like instant relevancy yeah. with him. Yeah. And he'll yeah, he'll get headlines through the whole year. Yeah. The whole year. Win or lose, he'll get headlines. Absolutely. Yeah, Paul. Dion brought in Charles Kelly. He was the associate defensive coordinator at Alabama. Yeah. So that's everyone lauded that pick. And Sean Lewis, who was the head coach at Kent State, a very successful team, he's now the offensive coordinator. So he brought in some high-end people right off the bat. Yeah. And, you know, people are going to tune in and see, oh, is he worth this? Or, oh, my God, they are good. Or they're competitive. Because, man, it's been a long time with Colorado football. I mean, you go back to, you know, Bill McCartney. Yeah, Paul. I, I just love the idea, and I don't know if this is how it works. You know, when, when Brian Kelly of LSU walks into a mom and dad's living room, I'm sure they're very impressed. He was at Notre Dame and something mm -hmm. like that. But if you're like a 48-year-old dad and mom, and Deion Sanders walks into your living room, that is a NFL living legend walking in. I don't know if that could be overstated. And, you know, parents do have influence over their kids. I know there's NIL and, and, and the, the pros, but to get a kid to go to Colorado over Miami at this juncture is, yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah. Because Miami has the NIL, NIL money, so they could probably match whatever. Yes, Marv. And Deion's one of those guys that trend, that transcends sports. My grandmother is almost 80. She knows who Deion Sanders is. Yeah. So, oh, that was it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, just leave it out there. I thought there was a big payoff there. Yeah, when Prime comes walking in and sits down next to. Yeah. Oh, he's going to have it all going on. Going to have the shades on. Going to, you know, he's going to be Prime when he walks in. And when he gets rolling, oh, my God, look out. Because he gets into that motivational speaker mode. And he is he's going to be chopping some things up there. Yeah, Mark. In Urban Dictionary, when they talk about he's him, Deion Sanders is the photo. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Himothy. 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 